could you talk a little bit about your purpose and intention for the movie? What did you intend it to be? And who okay. was your intended audience? Right, for? yeah. Um, well, you know, projects like this are always a process. You know, I didn't have a completely formulated, mm -hmm. you know, plan or agenda when I set out. You know, it, it, it kind of grew in increments. And if I had known it was going to be as big a project as it turned out to be, I probably wouldn't have done it. Oh. So it, it grew in increments. I thought, well, it might be interesting for me to film, you know, the Jewish community in Cuba. It's a community I know very well. I've been traveling to Cuba. Well, I first went in 79, but I started traveling intensively in 91. I was getting to know this community. There were two other films about Jewish Cubans out there that I wasn't that satisfied with. Mm. And I thought, well, you know, I'd like to do something. And um, so we started filming kind of informally. I was working with two of my graduate students. Uh, one of them, Hisela Fusal, who turned out to be my main camera woman. And she's of Mexican background. And she's doing her research in Cuba. So it kind of worked out because I was doing my research. And here was one of my graduate students also working in Cuba. And she's very interested in combining anthropology and film. And she said, well, I'll help you. And that's how we started. So we started filming very informally, uh, talking to some of the people that I knew best, and then talking to others that you know I heard about in the community that I wanted to talk to. Mm -hmm. And it just grew. And um, you know, uh, eventually I had over 120 hours of footage. 